Yo dudes! So welcome. welcome. Yo dudes! Welcome, welcome to Chocolate, Chocolate Pecan Pies! That was good. So cool. to many people, people associate pecan pie purely with Thanksgiving and kind of a winter autumnal dessert. This uh, is an all year round version. It's simple, it's vegan, it's raw, it's delicious. All you need is a food processor. It takes 20 minutes to make and then you just need a They're lovely, chocolatey, gooey, nutty and just decadent. Enough adjectives. This is one of our favorite recipes from our new book, The World of the Happy Pear. Which Check it won, out. look at that for a snap. It actually won a cookbook of the year last year in Ireland and it was the best selling cookbook in Ireland. So thank you to anyone who bought it. Sincerest thanks. Now on to the recipe. Okay, so first step we're gonna start with is the base. We've got a food processor. What do we got in the base, Mr. Flynn? Okay, base, here we go. 150 grams of pecans. Again, pecans can be slightly more expensive this side of the world. You could use walnuts, or you could use cashews if you want. 150 grams of cashews. So Here that is, just to summarize, 300 grams of nuts. Okay, blend them Beautiful. first. Okay, gonna blend these into a flour-like consistency. Beautiful. Boom. Okay, so it's like a breadcrumb-like consistency. It's really nice. Next step, take 100 grams of dates. We have simple pitted dates that we have chopped. It'll just, just make it easier in your food processor. Okay, we've got two tablespoons of coconut oil. That's to add a bit of rigidity to and just add a bit more power heat to our nuts and dried fruit. Duh! Okay. Ça, deux. Uh, next, maple syrup. The reason why some of you comment below wondering why do you have maple syrup in a jar like that? We have a one and a half ton tub of it inside, so we decant it from that. Take one tablespoon and you're gonna need two tablespoons of maple syrup. One, two. Beautiful. Thank you. And it's blendy blendy. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, smells delicious. Next, really, really good. you will need a muffin tray. We have 12, this is gonna make 12. Take some little, what do we gonna call these? Muffin uh, liners. Okay, muffin liners, okay. Muffin liners. Okay, I pop in your muffin liners. Ideally, they fit perfectly. It sounds like a ship, a muffin liner. <laughs> but it's probably not, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Leave a comment, let us know what they're called. We can't remember. Okay, line them in. Okay, so we're dividing this. Usually you should get enough for eight of these, so. Ah, uh, and again, you're looking for a reasonably thin layer, so not too much. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're kind of going a little too heavy there, Monsieur Flynn. Okay, really important to flatten these down. Two main reasons. One, so you can have that beautiful, clean, sexy division layer of base and mm. chocolatey pecan magicness. And the second reason is to compact them in some. When you do remove them out of their case, they hold together. So again, easiest way, take a spoon and just really just pack it in. Okay, bases have been all flattened out and the pecan, if you can get it, adds a wonderful smooth delicacy that I, I reckon is well worth seeking out. Now time to make our filling. Again, take our food processor, no need to clean it out. First up, 150 grams of pecans. I would highly recommend getting pecans for this. Okay, so now it's time. We're just gonna whiz these into a nice kind of breadcrumb-like texture. Give it a good whiz. Okay, so next up, we're gonna add in all the rest of the ingredients to the topping. First up, we've got 150 grams of dates. These are pitted dates. Next step, we have one full fat can of coconut milk. This is 400 ml. If you live in a warm country, make sure to store it in the fridge before you use it. If you live in a country like Ireland, where it's quite cold, it will naturally separate. The cream or the fat will come to the top, the water will come to the bottom. Simply open it, Take a spoon and take out all this lovely, fatty, creamy magicness and drop it in. Okay, next up we got two tablespoons of cacao powder. This is the regular cacao powder. Just make sure it's got no sugar in it. It's just, I think the technical. Unsweetened Dutch processed cacao powder. But just cacao powder will do perfect. Okay, next up we've got coconut oil, two tablespoons, just like as in the base. Just add it in. And there's the second. Boom, perfect. Last and final ingredient we have liquid sweetener. We're using maple syrup. Let's get in 100 ml of it. And finally, it's just to blend it all. Okay, so we blended her for probably two minutes. Our food processor is very strong, so blend it until it's super smooth. So you want this really smooth and creamy, so it's very kind of almost, almost buttery-like. Cheers, it tastes amazing, wow. So decadent and Super rich, tasty, yummy, caramel-like. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Okay. Last step and most fun, or second last step. And one of them, oh, that's really, it's, it's like chocolate ice cream. Chocolate pecan ice cream. Okay, so we gotta divide these up. Now it's decoration time, so we have our base on, we have our filling on. Now we have some pecan nuts that we left from the base. Just take a whole one and put it on top of each one. So this is probably my favorite bit of all. This is the bit that takes a good looking pecan pie and takes it to the next level. So we've got a microplane grater and we've got some dark chocolate. And this is the Grady Grady Show. Okay, last and final step, pop them in the fridge or the freezer to let them set. If you do put them in the fridge, they'll take about two hours. In the freezer, it'll probably take only 15 minutes. It's simply to give time for that coconut cream to come solid again, the dates to put it all together, and the coconut oil to come hard, so at room temperature, they're solid. We're going straight in the freezer, because we're not impatient. Our pecan pies have been freezing in the freezer for 20 minutes, time to take them out. Oh, looking great. Okay, I'm gonna take them out and just pop them on the board here. They've gone lovely and solid. I love a solid pecan pie. Oh, I look beautiful with the blue. I think time we to, go. Here's the big time reveal. Time to remove their clothes and get them into us. Ooh, look at that. So look. nice division of layers. See that for beautiful layering. And again, the more level you can be with getting the clear division of layer, the more sexy they're gonna appear. Here's to you, this one's for you. These are also quite dense, like you might find one of them full on, they're really, they're taste fab, they're even fab or shared. Here we go. Mm. Wow. That's just like a taste sensation. I feel like I have to take a moment just to appreciate it. A lot of wonderful chocolate, pecan -y, creamy, Tastes nutty. like toffee. It tastes like a toffee caramelized pecan, delicious, yummy loveliness. Rock, and if you like pecans and you kind of like chocolate, this is one for you to try. Super tasty, easy to make, takes 15 minutes and then 20 minutes in the freezer. Um, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and uh, please share this with anyone looking for some pecan pie love. Cheers dudes, thanks a million. Bye!